Why, hello there, predators and prey alike. Shams Nelson here from Fantastic Anatomy, broadcasting in the studio with my uh, co-host, Mr. Muffin Blueberry. And uh, it's a blustery day, and we're going to be drawing the structure of the face. And I came up with a cool method that is really easy and uh, fun to do, so I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I was kind of inspired to do this by, um, or what started me like exploring this was a video by Yavi Can Draw, and uh, using like a sunglass type method for the eyes. So I'll put a link in the description to that, and uh, it's a cool video. But so okay, so let's start with that. So a sunglass shape to get the area of the eyes. Okay, and then we're gonna put in the nose. Actually, no, we're gonna do this. is This is the main thing that I kind of added to my repertoire for drawing faces and it's been pretty good. So here's the cheek and then the area for the mouth and then the chin area. Okay, I don't know why but that just really gives me a great layout for where the rest of the face is gonna fit in because then I just gotta put in the nose because I know it's gonna come to around there and uh, put in the mouth between these two points. If you wanted them smiling, then you know you could make. I'll do that in another one. But you could pull these up. All right. And then to do the put the eye in there. Sometimes I like to just do that and also mark two points and kind of line them up. If you want, you can have this one above and then this one would be above. But basically, and kind of go like this. And then. Uh, you know, draw something like that. Just connect in the dots. And connect them the same way on both sides. All right. Put in the nostril, whatever. Cool. And then the ears come from about the bottom of the nose to the top of the eyes or the top of the. So this guy is half elfin. He's a half elf. And these are pretty basic, normal proportions. But um, since this is fantastic anatomy, and we like to keep things fantastical. Let's make our next drawing uh, a little bit more of a fantasy character. Actually, no, let's do a female, but um, but yeah, let's make it a little more fantastical. So what if it's like a, so we'll do the shape of the head like this maybe. I feel like that's going to be like a halfling or gnome type. So what are the differences between a female? Okay, the glasses, you know how women like to wear these glasses that are really big? I like to wear them too. It's pretty fly. I don't really wear sunglasses, but when I do, I'd rock a pair of these. Something like that. As opposed to this dude whose glasses are going to be more this shape. You know what I'm saying? Men have flatter on the brow ridge here. See, this is more rounded, and the eyebrows are going to be more arched due to that. So we can use the same method. So let's tilt our eyes down. How about that? So, so kind of like... Something like that. All right, we'll come back to that. And then the nose, I like to do something like this. Keep keep it small. It's like an, a diamond shape. Like that. Okay. Instead of more of a whatever this shape is for for a, for a typical male face, and then you could have the bridge come in like that. You know this is the bottom plane. Like that. See? Fun stuff. Alright. So, and then let's use the cheek method. So the hers are going to be smoother and come down to a smaller, smaller point at the bottom because uh, women tend not to have as thick masculine skin. Uh, chins and also the chin shouldn't be very long so this is a very uh, like not what's the word very uh, not tall short short face to short face okay do this give her more pronounced lips it's gonna be one thing that will help distinguish her as a female and then, like, let's go big ears, because it's a halfling type. Alright, and let's finish off the eyes. Thick upper lashes will also help distinguish her as female. 
Maybe like that. Kind of weird. All right, whatever. Cool. I, love, I actually like it. It's pretty neat. All right. Do do do. I don't know. I think she's looking more feminine. I'm still having trying to figure out and having a little trouble with uh, with making female characters more feminine. So that's always something I'm trying to figure out. I gotta spend some time, dedicate some time studying. But another thing is the hairline. The forehead's usually higher, so the hairline goes like this, while male's hairline will be more flat and shorter forehead. I just give her a bunch. Pull in the neck. I like to think of the back of the skull. I try to figure that out. Okay. And then that's where it's going to come down. And the woman's one next going to be much thinner and kind of taper downwards like that. Male neck still taper downwards like that, I guess. But it might also be the trapezius in the back showing more. So it's a little more squared off. All right, I think that's it. Um, should I draw a dwarven character? All right, let's do one more little character just for fun. I like to draw dwarven characters because, I don't know. So you got the big square head. Okay, let's just put in the ears right away. It'll be cool. You're going to have a very flat brow, wide nose, cheekbone, mouth, cheekbone, mouth, chin, okay let's make this guy smiling so we'll pull this up, pull that up, naturally connect those, you see that, it's a very uh, convincing little dwarven smile there I think, give him some beard, beardage going on, okay, cool, Two dots, two dots. Connected in the dots, same way on both sides. Put in the eyebrow. And let's make his, he polishes his head every morning. He's a prime dwarven bachelor. All right, cool. I guess that's it. Peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.